Here we are again. Oh, I'm limited to a very specific amount of time maximum for these videos. As anything more will be overwritten in the PlayStation before I can upload it. So the absolute maximum would be 15 minutes. Try to keep it a little under to make sure it doesn't lose footage. But that's just the way it ends up. We're going to give you a cryojet. Yeah, a cryojet. Right arm. No, no protectron. I wonder why it requires you to build a base robot with a protectron, because that means you're just going to end up with a bunch of protectron parts. Unless those somehow get stored in your inventory. But even then that'd take up weight. I think the Robo Brain bar arms are better. The Sentry Bot arms are kinda too clunky. Robo Brain arms give you more of that old sci-fi type of thing. Yeah. But unfortunately, they don't seem to have armor right now. At least I haven't found it yet. Yeah, I'll just give it an axe and it can just murder everyone. Double hammer! Smash! Hell, I don't even have a Gatling laser. I don't want to give it two guns, though. I think the construction claw would be useful. Wait, did I do right hand armor? No, it doesn't have it. Legs! <laughs> Assault Tron legs. I do not like the carry weight of the Mr. Handy Thruster. Really wish I could build those. I might just keep the hand. I might just put a Mr. Handy thruster just for the hell, just for now, just for the hell of it. Thruster armor. Merciless plate. Warmonger spike plate. Let's get the Warmonger spike plate. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Paint. No paint. Just reminded of a series that I'm watching on someone else's channel right here. I doubt anyone will get the reference. But I think olive green paint might be someone's favorite color. And there's a favorite color of someone else. What does the olive do? Nothing. 
the paint doesn't do anything. Uh, that's terrible. Here you can be olive. I wonder if I should play vanilla Minecraft on a series or should I play It's always fascinating to create. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. Sure. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's the best I can do. Yes. Well, it's certainly better than being stuck to a machine surrounded by rust devils poking and prodding me for their amusement. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, <laughs> why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Why did General Atomics make you so... Uncooperative. I haven't the faintest idea of what you're talking about. I'm hmm. a top of the line model with an efficiency rating that makes Mr. Handy look like a glorified toaster oven when given a set Well, of my Mr. Handy's not so much of a dick. Question, and without error. Now, were there any other ridiculous questions you wanted to ask? Tell me everything you know about the mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. To, air quotes, help the people of the Commonwealth. I find that very hard to believe. I can't imagine why. It's actually quite simple. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the commonwealth by my calculations the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it there's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life it's the most efficient way to assist them any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects i don't think you understand the definition of help help to give or provide what is necessary to accomplish a task or to satisfy a need. I'm doing exactly as I was instructed. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time it's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I should... You might stub your toe to tomorrow. Understand. I shall kill you now to save you the problem. And you're going to be a brain pate if you don't tell me how to access the mechanist's facility. There's no need to be rude. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the mechanist's facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots. I wonder if the strong would like a if strong would like a snack. To your pit boy device. There. I fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here. Jello with a nice little treat inside. Between yourself and the mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. At least now I'll have time to work on my pie to the last digit calculation. Yes, you try that. Just just keep doing that. Let's do build mode. What decorations can I put in this place? Right about there. McCready's floating around out there somewhere in case you didn't notice. Uh... 
what would be a good thing to hide back there? In that corner. Decorations, miscellaneous. Wait, why did it? It's okay with clipping through the wall, but it's not okay with clipping through the benches there. Adding symmetry to something which has none. I think Strong might be interested in a little snack. You know, a little lime jello with a little little meaty treat stuck inside of it. Super mutants will eat just about anything that's nasty and strung up, so maybe I like jello with a nice little treat. It would definitely assist me if he something went a little missing. Radio. Diamond City, classical, radio freedom. I wanted to check on this, see if it's actually true. Seems like the classical station it doesn't it's strange because it was coming through the radio in the enemy area Yeah, let's put a giant fountain right there. Sure. Hmm. I think this will be a nice seating area. Definitely a nice little seating area. Oh, finishes up and show you the results next time. Uh, so, see you in the next series. Next series on this Automatron. Have a good day, and see you later.